Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, yesterday we did a video on the interrupt service request, or just what we call an interrupt, which basically bypasses whatever the processor is working on and goes directly to what you tell it to do. <clears throat> so, for instance, here is a simple routine on this Arduino. I've attached an LED to a PWM pin, in this case, pin number six. And I've set a little bit of code to cause it to go from 0 to 255. So basically it just gets brighter and brighter and brighter. While this is going on, this processor is busy. And if you were to attach a regular button to this and wrote in a button routine, you would have to get it at the exact right instant for you to press that button. Otherwise, it's going to miss your button press. Let's go over to the computer and take a look at the code and see if I can make this a little more clear to you. Okay, so we're looking at the code here. And it's mostly the same code as we've had yesterday. I just added a couple things here. I've added the red LED in our declarations. I've added the red LED here. And I've added uh, pin 5 as an input. That will be where our regular switch would be. And we're just setting our pin too high. And the reason we're doing that is because when we attach the interrupt here, we're looking for the falling edge. So we want this to start out high. So we're going to create the interrupt. It is interrupt zero, which attaches to pin two. Its name is toggle. And we want to look for a falling edge. Now in our loop yesterday, which said absolutely nothing, it now says something else. There are actually like three different things going on here. The first one is just the simple ramp up the LED. So we create an integer variable called i. For i equals zero. And if i is less than 255, then i is incremented. So basically, we're going to start at zero and we're going to go up to 255. Then we're going to analog write the red LED i. So first we'll write zero, it'll be off. Then we'll write one, finally we'll get up to 255. It'll be as bright as it could possibly be. Then we will wait 30 milliseconds in between just to give it a little pause. Now here comes a part about looking for an actual button press. That is incorrect right there. That should be like that. Okay, there we go. Here's a part looking for a, a, a button press. So we're gonna create an integer variable called press me now and we're going to read digital pin 5. What we're looking for is a low here. So if press me now equals 0, then we will turn our light on. If press me now equals 1, which means it isn't pressed, then we will turn it off. So here is the thing that you need to understand about this. Without the interrupt here, the only time that you're going to be able to press that button would be here before this starts and here after that ends. If you try and press the button in any of this point right here, and this is going to take about what three seconds or so to ramp up, nothing's going to happen because the program is simply looking for that button press at a different point. But by attaching the interrupt to it right here, we are interrupting the program's flow in this section right here. And we're telling it, skip this and go directly to this point right here. And that can be a very useful thing, which is why I've included it in our Arduino Foundation series. There's, there are going to be a great deal of times where it's important to read the button instantaneously rather than wait till when the program gets to it. So. That's why I wanted to show you guys this. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to another little video that will give you an idea as well. So here it is once again with our interrupt. We have our LED ramping up and down. And anytime I press the button, the interrupt skips through all of that and simply lights the LED. So I hope this cleared some things up for you guys. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.
hey, do me a favor. Leave a comment no matter what. Just say hi. Helps the algorithm, and believe me, in the summer, revenue is way down. I'm having trouble making it, so if you can leave me just a hello in the comments, it'll really help. That's it. I'm out. Peace.